Casey Jones, issue number two by Mirage Studios. So this came out July 1994, and it is North by Down East, the conclusion. So yeah, we get the uh, the conclusion to the Casey Jones lobster story. And uh, it starts off immediately with Casey and Gabby getting uh, their boat almost flooded with water. And it's the giant Coast Guard ship. And they look and they see all the uh, Malacostras uh, on the ship. And when they look around, they see even more ships and more uh, Malacostras on them. And then we get this good shot of uh, Gabby bending over from behind. <laughs> and she basically reveals that we need to stop them. Like we need to stop them before they break the spell and they all return to their giant lobster selves. And she shows the body of a dead uh, Malacostra that she has inside her boats. And yeah, it's just basically like this giant lobster looking creature. And they realize that uh, all of the ships are going towards this island. And on this island is this uh, old fort. And there's like a huge bonfire going on in the center of it. And so uh, they bring the ship up to the island and they sneak on board and they see all the Malacostras doing some kind of ritual around the bonfire and chanting something. And for some reason that turns on Gabby and she starts nibbling on Casey's ears and uh, basically wants to have sex with him right then and there. <laughs> but he's like, uh, no can do. I ain't doing nothing without my mask. So uh, yeah, I guess Casey Jones doesn't have sex unless he's wearing his mask. Which has got to be weird for April. But uh, he sees one of the Malacostras wearing his mask and he just goes berserk. And uh, he tells Gabby to give him the bag that they brought up onto the island. And when he opens it, he sees the uh, it's the dead body of the lobster Malacostra. So uh, he just starts cutting holes into it and uh, basically turning it into a lobster armor. So he, he puts on uh, this mask. He puts on like the different shell body parts to create this armor. He tells Gabby to head back to the Coast Guard ship and see if there's any humans still alive in there. And then, uh, yeah, he pops up from his hiding place, taunts the uh, Malacostras, and then he drops a bunch of cannons on top of them before jumping into the mosh pit and just going berserk on them. And this is just, like, so awesome. He just, he goes absolutely batshit insane and just starts hacking the crap out of all these monsters. Blood is flying everywhere as he cuts them down. And uh, during this whole battle, something happens to the island. It starts like shaking and then the uh, fort collapses and Casey pulls himself out of the rubble, sees that all the Malacostras, like the spell has been lifted and rather than being humanoids, now they're all giant lobsters and uh, he decides, you know what, I'm just going to keep on, <laughs> I'm going to keep on hacking at you guys. So he just goes insane, insane, starts hacking at these guys, body parts just start flying everywhere, blood squirting everywhere. By the time he's done, he's just drenched in blood. And I was like, yes, this is what I, this is why I love the old school turtle comics, especially with Kevin Eastman. Kevin Eastman goes hardcore with the grittiness, but I, I, I just love this. I love just violent Ninja Turtles, but he finally finds the giant lobster that's still wearing his mask and just stabs him in the head with an axe and then takes his his mask back puts it on and uh victory is done he's slaughtered everybody when all of a sudden this tiny lobster pinches his toe and he starts like screaming and then that's when the island shakes again and then, then it turns out that the island is not an island it's actually the big snapper and the big snapper is like the the king of all the uh malacostras and the big snapper is just this giant green lobster that's been, I guess, sleeping here for so long that the human population nearby assumed that it was just an island and built a giant fort on top of it. But no, it's actually uh, a creature. And it uh, knocks Casey into the water and he gets like hit on top of this ship. And while there, he sees a bunch of nuclear depth charges. And so he decides, all right, I'm going to blow the crap out of this creature. Like, that's the only way I can stop it. So he sets off all the depth charges, and it explodes and just blows up the big snapper. And the explosion knocks Casey out. 
And when he wakes up, he's on, I thought it was going to be a cruise ship, but uh, Gabby has left him a note, and it just says, uh, a giant yacht. And uh, Casey and him are the only ones on this yacht, minus the little green uh, lobster that was carrying this note. So the lobster that pinched Casey Jones's toe also was carrying a note that Gabby had wrote for him and hands the note to Casey and basically says, hey, uh, lover boy, we got the uh, yacht to ourselves. I'm going down below to make sure that the hot tub is boiling. Why don't you join me? And so Casey's like, yeah, I got to slaughter a bunch of lobsters. I got to blow up a giant lobster alien creature. Now I get to have sex. This is going to be awesome. And so he grabs the little lobster that gave him the note, carries it into the kitchen, <laughs> throws it in a pot of boiling water and boils it to death. And then uh, he turns on the TV and he starts eating the lobster as he waits for Gabby. Gabby shows up and Casey offers her the uh, what's left of the lobster. You know, I was like, hey, why don't you like, chow down? It's good eating. And um, as she sees it, she's like, wait, was that the lobster that we saved from the big snapper? And he was like, yep. I figured that this, you know, would be revenge for him almost taking my toe off. And that's when um, Gabby freaks out and... She tells him that that creature that he just ate, that was the royal row. And that lobster carried the genetic code of the whole Neptunian race. Now you've just eaten their last hope of survival on Earth. Not only was that the last hope for the Neptunian race, and then um, that's when she transforms into a giant lobster, she says, but that was also my baby. And so uh, she tries to kill Casey for eating her child. And basically genociding her entire race. So yeah, Casey Jones genocides an entire race of Neptunian lobsters. And um, yeah, Casey, he's like being choked to death by Gabby in her lobster form when he reaches over and he finds a cleaver and he just starts swinging. And um, he swings like crazy before he finally blacks out. And that's when the turtles are like, uh, you know, let's shed some light on this subject. And so they plug in an outlet, get the lights on, and they want to, they want Casey to like finish the rest of the story. Like what happened? What happened to Gabby? Like what went down? But when they turn the lights on, uh, Casey's gone. And then they're like, oh man, like you can't leave us hanging like this. Like, was that story even true? Like what happened to Gabby, the lobster lady? Uh, did all this really happen? Or was this just a story that he made up? And that's when Leo was like, well, uh, look, looks like Casey dropped something when he when he left, when he made his exit. He reaches down, he pulls up a corncob pipe sliced in half, and it's Gabby's corncob pipe. And then we just hear the, the rain pattering on the uh, city streets, and we see uh, Casey just walking as the rain pours down on him. And that's how it ends. This was awesome. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a just a weird crazy story but it was entertaining it constantly left me like on the edge of my seat because i had no idea what was going on like I, I could not guess what was happening i had a feeling that something was going to go down with gabby like she just seemed to have too much knowledge on the uh malacostra so i was like maybe she's a part of them or something i don't know this whole thing was i love seeing casey just go berserk and just brutalizing all these uh, giant lobsters. I mean, he just slices the crap and out of him. He's hacking, he's slashing, body parts are flying, blood's everywhere. And he's just wearing this like disturbing looking armor and mask as he's doing it. It's badass. The artwork is great. The coloring is great. The writing is awesome. Like this was cool. Like this is what I want out of my comics. I just want crazy entertaining stuff like this. It doesn't have to be like super A plus writing, you know, like it doesn't have to be any like award winning stuff. Just give me like popcorn flick entertainment kind of storytelling and I'm good. And this, this was just fantastic. I am kind of wondering if we're ever going to see uh, Gabrielle again or if that was just the end of it. But yeah, there you go. There's Casey Jones. Issue number two came out July 1994. North by Down East, the conclusion. Casey Jones genocides an entire alien race of 
giant lobster monsters. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Later.